most people today want to make their own songs in GarageBand. Um, well, not exactly in GarageBand, but they want to make their own songs in general, and they want to get it out there. Um, I'm just going to tell you how to really make the song. I'm not going to really tell you how to get it out there, because obviously there's a few ways, such as Ustream, uh, live radio, or maybe even just um, talk to the radio station uh, near your house, wherever, or um, put it on YouTube. So I'm just going to tell you how to make a simple loop, um, and I might just make another video of how to uh, put the song together, as in, um, save it as an MP4, free, sorry. <laughs> MP4, I don't know where I got that from. Anyway, um, so what you want to do is open GarageBand, and it's, you got to open Loops. Um, just put uh, my song seven. That would do. Just call it whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it that, for instance. And I'll just empty my trash. And um, so the first thing to do when you get a song is. Um, to uh, get a drum beat because obviously you need the drum beat to keep the rhythm. So if we go into all drums and let's we're gonna generally make a sort of like a rocky blues song. It's more more gonna be rock but anyway. Um it's totally off your preference. Um, I like quite like that one. So we drag that literally into the thing and it makes a track for us. And press spacebar to basically listen to it. And press um, commanding U just to get rid of that horrible ticking noise. I don't know whether you could hear it, but um, it makes a horrible ticking noise, which is the beat thing. Um, once you've got a drum kit, um, put perhaps another couple of beats in. The same sort of genre though, so that'll do and let's put another one that'll do so all together it's going to sound well I'll start it from here and all together it's going to sound like this That's basically the feeling that you want in the song because you don't want to make it too overwhelming that at one minute you've got a rock and pop sort of um, drum beat and then you've got some horrible bluesy sort of sound thing. So you want to like that because that just makes a good song anyway. Go to your bass guitars and this is really the main section where you put it all together um, because with the bass guitar you wouldn't really have a song because mainly most people have bass guitars in the songs. Um, I don't know really what that's supposed to be, but uh, we'll, we'll choose that. That, looks, that sounds quite good. And now we've just got this track, which is basically just got a bass and a drum kit. Now that all, that sounds quite good anyway, but how can we make it better? Well, let's just add a guitar. Um, the guitars can add quite a bit of a punch into a song. Most rock songs have an uh, electric guitar. <laughs> Let's try this way, but I don't think it's going really good together. It's a completely wrong key, so I don't think that's really going to go together. Um, this is where a keyboard could come in handy because you can listen to a track and you can listen what key it's in. Starts on an F, so um, it starts on an F. So uh, let's let's try and find a song which starts on an F. I don't know whether we will be able to. Um. I don't know whether this is going to be uh, all right. But. That, that 
that's all right. You get, you get the whole picture. Obviously, I'm not going to spend absolute years trying to produce a, a little song. And let's say this is our song, which is going to sound extremely bad. It sounds all right. But at the end, we just, we don't want it just to cut. So what we want to do is add some sort of fade. Go to track and press fade out. And you've got this nice tab at the bottom. And it fades it out for you. So you, let's go to where it starts to fade out. And it'll start to fade out for about now. There you go. And you can change that, obviously, by dragging these little cursors. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, my next video is probably going to be how to export it, but um, anyway, so see you in the next video, remember to rate, comment and subscribe. See you later.